My name's Claire Clark, Chef Patizia, and I've been working with Dr. Erka on baking trends. I'm going to be showing you something today inspired by nature. I'm going to be using fresh rose petals and incorporating them into a lovely shortbread cookie. I'm going to show you first how to make the crystallised rose petals. We're going to be using some egg white powder. It's very easy to use. I'm just going to take the powder into a bowl. And it's one sachet, 50 millilitres. Just add a little bit in and give it a whisk to start with. Kind of get it going and then add the rest of the water and keep whisking and it'll soon come nice and smooth into a foam. You need to leave it a little bit foamy, so we're going to give that a gentle whisk. As soon as you can see that that's made a gentle foam, we'll be ready to use. You're also going to need some caster sugar and a fresh rose. I like to do this in a little system, so we have our egg white, our sugar, and then a tray to put them on. You're just going to remove the calyx from the end of the rose, just by pulling it. And inside, you'll see there's little seeds. So remove the calyx and then tip out any seeds because we're not going to use those and get rid of them. If there's any from the outside that are damaged, we can discard those. And then with a clean, dry brush, dip it in the egg white and then brush each side of the petal. It should just be nice and evenly coated. And then with your hand that's dry, just give them a little coat round in the sugar, making sure they're coated on both sides and then rest them onto the tray. We're going to need to leave these in a warm place for 24 hours so that they dry. After 24 hours, you can see that they're quite dry and they're nice and crisp. We're going to coat the cookies with some ready-to-roll Dr. Urka icing. And there's two ways that you can colour this. One is to use white icing with some of the ready-made red icing, or we can use some of the red gel colour. I'm going to show you both ways. And just take a little bit of icing sugar onto your workbench. And I'm going to take in some of the ready to roll white icing with some of the ready coloured red icing. And you can just knead them together. And if you haven't got the two types of icing, it's just as easy to use the ready to roll white icing and add some of the red gel colour. And I like to make a little well. Add some of the icing sugar into the well. That'll help absorb the colour so it doesn't go everywhere. And then just bring in the outside of the icing first so you're making like a little pocket so the icing doesn't go everywhere. Just keep kneading it there. So that was very easily coloured. Keeping the icing sugar on the table, we're going to roll a little icing. So just take a small amount and then with a little rolling pin, roll it out. It's really handy if you keep picking it up and moving it around in the icing. Don't flip it over because you're going to pull all that icing sugar up from the bottom. But if you keep moving it, you know you're not sticking it to the table. I know it's a little bit more effort because you need to roll more, but it's so much easier to handle a small amount of icing. Okay, and then use the same cutter that you use for the cookie. Just stamp it out with a little palette knife, lift it up and place it on your cookie. So now that cookies have the icing on them, we can attach some of the rose petals. I'm going to be using some royal icing for this. And I've put it in a little bowl, and just to stop it drying out, I've got a little wet J cloth on the surface. So I'm going to use a little spatula. So I like to start with the larger petals on the outside. So you can do them plain colors or two colors together. I'll do this one two colours together, I think. Then we can start the next layer in. So I'm going to go for pink ones. Just a little bit of icing again in the base. And in the very centre, use the really small, small petals there. And then I'm going to attach a few Dr. Urka butterfly sprinkles. These come in beautiful pastel colours and I think they really look nice. So I'm going to use the liquid glucose for this as well. It really helps hold them in place and it's so easy. There, floral cookies inspired by nature. <laughs>